Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Another car, another week, and it's now the time for the Honda Clarity. The Clarity is the offensive of Honda in the electrified market. Yes, you know, every manufacturer has their own vehicle. And this one is really special because in the state you can even get it in the hydrogen version. Not in Canada though. So we're gonna do a series of video about the Clarity and let's start with the exterior. Yes, I know a lot of people on my Facebook page when I show them the car were like... I don't know. It's not too bad, at least for my taste. So let's start the video to see the exterior review of the Honda Clarity. This is the Clarity plug-in hybrid touring version. This is the most equipped one that you can buy. And yes, the style, well, doesn't please everybody. But I like the front end. This is really a cord style with the big Honda logo that you have right here. You've got big addition of chrome and probably the nicest part of it is right here, the LED on the side. A little bit of plastic though, but you really well integrated. And the color that we have right now is doing a great match. And yes, those jewel headlights, the Acura style, they're not that great though on the high beam. So if you look at the hood, perfect line, this is to create the less resistance possible in the wind to get the better range or the better fuel economy. One of the nice innovation that you're gonna find is right here in the wipers. No, you're not gonna find any nozzle. This is the smart clean wipers that Honda is calling them. And if we get closer, you're gonna see the nozzle, which is right there on the, on the pin. So what's happening though, during winter, it might froze. So you need to be really careful with those. And you've got also all those little wires that you're gonna see hanging under to get the fluid here. But still, Honda is telling us that it's gonna be 80% more efficient to clean your windshield compared to traditional system. And it's also gonna consume 50% less fluid. That, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do the job. So right there in the big window, we have our security feature system, and you've got some nice line on the roof, and there's not any sunroof on this one. So it's not possible to have one, not even an option. So that's probably a little bit of uh, option that you could have added on the. When you look on the side, this is where <laughs> the style might not please everybody. It's probably because of the rear section there that you're gonna see a cover on the top wheel. But remember, right here in the front fender, You've got the lines that are gonna change the wind pattern to create less, re less resistance possible. You, you want fuel economy, you want range with that. You've got the plug-in hybrid mentioned right here in blue and look at the little chrome edition. You can see also the line going a little way up right here on the side of the pillar, the mirror with the lane watch camera right here, one of the perfect security feature that I like and look at the line. The line right here going through the handle and is ending at the rear lights here. Chrome, not too bad though. And how about that wheel cover? Let me <laughs> get you a real good image of that. So you've got an 18 inches wheel and if we go to the front, so this is plastic. That section right here is plastic though, but you still got those little lines to create less wind possible, less resistance possible. Does it really make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> so when you look at the back glass, you can clearly see the yellow tint, some kind of mini spoiler right here with the line handing, those nice LED lights, even with the blinkers, even with the reverse light. And you've got that section right here, which is glass, and you've got difference inside. Nice line of chrome, mentioned clarity and you've got the plug-in hybrid two ring mentioned right here 
So you're gonna find more obvious places of a plastic right here. And when you go way under, yeah, I doesn't go under there often, but as you can see, great protection. Let's open the trunk and you've got the rear view camera, which is not too far. So when you open the trunk, decent space though, it's not really that big because you've got the battery under here, but still, not bad for a plug-in hybrid car. So another part that I wanted to show you was the unique suspension that you can see right there under the car. I don't know how well it will hold on over time, but that suspension is really unique. So the fuel cap is right here under that little panel. And when you want to open them, it's right there in the door. And you can press also to open the charge port and let's turn on the lights with the blinkers. So the charge port right here. Yep, connector, but you've got a little bit of LED lights, not too big. And if you're connected, you're gonna see a green light, but there's no really visible charge indicator from the outside. Oh, the LED bar just closed. I'm gonna open it once again. Give me a sec. There you go, look at that. This is really looking great. The blinkers, really powerful. Nothing in the mirror though. And with the rear, yep, full LED. So, the styling, yep. For some, it's a go. For others, it's a no-go. Did you make a mess on your floor? If yes, sorry, that's my fault. But remember, the design of an electrified vehicle is made to create the less resistance possible when it's gonna be facing the wind because it's gonna be more fuel efficient, but also more range with only electrical power. Still, I find it good looking. It's not that bad, really. But remember, we will have more video and the interior is next. So subscribe to Car Question, do a thumbs up, and also the comment section down there below, tell me what you think. Take care.